Hello Lifestyle, if you just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. It's LaShawn, thank you for joining me here on LaShawn's Lifestyle, I truly do appreciate you. So, today's video is my week number three update on my, uh, or my check-in on my cash envelopes. And if I had to describe this week in uh, two words, it would be in the words of Martin Lawrence, Damn, Gina. Uh, yeah, it was, was kind of rough. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the damage that was done to my cash envelopes for week three. All right, so um, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so we can get right to it. All right, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, well, is bring you guys in so you can see. Um, and then I'm going to roll down. Uh, last week I ended at $100 in gas, $55 in personal, $11 in food and fun, and $10 in giving. giving. <laughs> so let me go ahead and roll those down. So $100 we started with in gas, $55 we started with in food, uh, personal, $11 in food and fun, and $10 in giving. All right, so here's the gas, car, uh, gas envelope. Um, I did take $20 out if you saw my... Uh, weekly check-in for week two lab then you know I took the $20 out while I was on camera so um, I'll have that linked in the cards above if you're interested in, in watching uh, seeing week two but I did use $20 for gas so I should have $80 in here so 20 40 50, 60, 70, and 80. So yeah. All right, so we're good with gas. I don't believe I need to get any gas um, for this week. So I'm gonna just stick this back in my desk. I don't keep my gas car. Why do I keep saying gas car? I don't know. But <laughs> I don't keep my gas envelope with me. That way I'm not tempted to use the money that's in here because my other envelopes are looking uh, crucial right now. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna put that back in my desk. All right, so that leaves me at $80 for gas. All right, now personal. Personal, I had to do some stuff. So I'm gonna break out the calculator. All right, so let me take out the envelopes I had in here. So I used five dollars and then I also used um thirty nine dollars. Please can anyone tell me why vitamins are so expensive? Or can y'all tell me comment down below and let me know like what brands you use for vitamins because I don't know why mine are so, they're so super expensive. And then you just, you know, you just can't take a multivitamin. You got to take some extra because the multivitamin may not have everything that you want in it that you are, you need or whatever. But it's like crazy that for the cost of vitamins. All right. So that was $44. So I had $55. I spent $44. So I should have $11 in my personal envelope. So I have five, 10, 11. So that is that. Yeah, let me know in the comments, like if you guys recommend, like I take a multi, I do the gummies. I have to take some that tastes good. Um, so I do a multi. I do like a hair skin nails. I do one with um, like a B12, B, all the Bs, you know, for energy and all that good stuff. Um, 
um because like the beat the and I, I think i'm gonna institute a, a, a c as well because like a um your b's and your c's together they in your body they create collagen you know and collagen is for like you know healthy plumpness and skin and all that you know anti-aging kind of deal so yeah so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so it's gonna get even more expensive just for vitamins because you only get you know enough for like a month and then you're out so yeah but yeah that's what happened last week so that left me with eleven dollars in my personal I might have to just have a whole line item for vitamins, it seems, in my sinking funds. So, all right, so we got, we're down, we're up to food and fun. So I had $11 for food and fun. I did not spend any money in food and fun because I took my lunch the couple of days that I was out. I actually did pretty good with my no spins, so that was a good thing. So I have um, five, 10, 11, so I still have $11 there. Like I said, this is this is like down to the bare minimums here. But I think I can make it. I think I can, I think I can. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then for giving, um, I did not, I don't think I did. Right, yeah, I didn't do anything with um, with giving, although budgeting D, shout out to budgeting D, told me I just need to take this giving and put it to my food. I be giving to myself. She's hilarious. So yeah, so all I have, um, I still have the ten dollars, five ten, that's in my giving envelope. So I'm good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. So I'm gonna put the gas car, ah, uh, the gas envelope back in my desk. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh, I didn't write this in. So I'm still at $10 with that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my wallet for another week of seeing how we're gonna make it off a little bit of money. And yeah, so I'm left with, to start week four, $80 in gas, $11 in personal, $11 in food and fun and $10 in giving. So yeah, that is the mockery that is called my um, cash envelope check-in. Um, it's, it's pretty rough, but I'm, I'm gonna do what I can to make it. So yeah, so if you've lasted this long in this video, you are a lifestyler and I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel comment like and share i truly would appreciate it and again comment down below and let me know what type types or, or brand of vitamins that you use um i was going to the vitamin shop they're super expensive so now i'm going between walmart and target but yeah let me know and it, or if you find any deals i would appreciate it so until my next video hugs and love bye